Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to continue with our basic integration formulas. Now we have the root of a square minus x square. Now the root sign is in the numerator. So in our previous video, we saw we have the root of a square minus x square integration. We saw the integration of root of x square plus a square. And we also saw the integration of root of x square minus a square. So now the root sign is in the numerator with the same terms. So what is this integration? This integration is nothing but sine inverse of x by a. This integration is nothing but log of x plus this term root of x square plus a square. And similarly, this integration is log of x plus root of x square minus a square. So we have this three integration. Now, whenever the root sign is in the numerator, this part will remain as it is. So we will have sine inverse of x by a plus something. Okay because it is in the numerator. So here we multiply by a square by 2 and here we will have x by 2. Here a square by 2, x by 2 and here we will multiply the same term root of a square minus x square. Okay, so in this way you can remember this formula from this formula. So now again we will have plus something log of this term x plus root of x square plus a square here we multiply something and here also we multiply something. Here also we multiply by x by 2. Here also we multiply by a square by 2. Then we multiply by this term. Root of x square plus a square. Similarly this formula. So here we will have plus a square upon 2 into this term. Log of x plus root of x square minus a square. Here we will multiply x by 2. Then this term that is root of x square minus a square. So in this way, by using these results, we can directly write all these formulas and no need to remember all the things. Okay, so this is how you can find the formulas. Then we have integration of e raised to ax sine bx plus c. So this formula is nothing but e raised to ax upon coefficient of x that is a square plus coefficient of x in this term it is b square into a that is coefficient of x sine of this term that is bx plus c minus b that is coefficient of b cos of bx plus c so you have to remember this similarly on the same line we have the formula for cos e raised to ax upon a square plus b square into a here we have sine so first we have started with sine here we have cos we will start with cos bx plus c instead of minus we will have plus b sine bx plus c so this is the basic results you should remember more such integration formulas we will see in our next video so stay tuned for our future lectures